Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Everything MTG. My name is Justin. Today we're going to be playing some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, was kind of hoping Quick Draft would not be Amonkhet today because I need some Core 2019 cards, but Amonkhet it is. Uh, we could do Quick Singleton, but I really don't feel like drafting up a, a Brawl deck. I think it's a Brawl deck. Yeah, I really don't feel like drafting up a Brawl deck. <laughs> like, it's, it, I feel like it's going to take forever. Uh, and I'm probably not that great at it because I haven't done it. So anyways, we'll try a quick draft. Uh, I'm on cat, as uh, it's okay. quite referred to. So let's jump in. Blow our stash of coins. So what are we looking at here? We've got Sandworm Convergence. Yeah, that would be your bomb. And then, yeah, <laughs> basically Flame Blade Adept. It's not bad, a 1-2 with Menace. Cycle or discard a card, it gets plus one plus oh, sixth sense. Oh, this creature deals kind of damage to a player, draw a card. Watchful Naga, you may exert it as it attacks when you do draw a card. Winged Shepherd's alright, I guess. Five and a white for a 3 3 flying with vigilance and cycling one. Soul Stinger enters battlefield with put two one, minus one minus ones on target creature you control. When it dies, you may put a minus one minus one on target creature for each minus one minus one on this creature. Oh, let's see. What is this? Main score of the gauntlet. 5-4 for 5. Enters battlefield. Put a minus 1, minus 1 counter on target creature you control. Main score of the gauntlet deals 3 damage to target opponent or planeswalker. 5-4 for what? 5-4 uh, for 5. Initiates companion or colossipede. It's it's either going to be... It's either going to be the shepherd or the manticore. Huh? Well, it's against, uh, you're drafting against NPCs. Exile to three creature cards from a single graveyard. Return two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. I mean, I don't know if I consider that removal. Well, put two minus one minus ones on target creature you control, and then when it dies, you can put a minus one minus one target creature for each minus one minus one counter on this card. You would put the two minus one minus ones on him, making him a two three for four. And then when he dies, he can minus one minus one something else. Should we just go for this? It's it's a three three for six though. With cycling one is great, but he could be good. Yeah. Uh. If you put it on, if you put the minus minus on him. Yeah. There's just not any good cards there. Yeah, this is a this is a weird draft environment. I guess we'll take the Shepherd. Starting out, this is a weird draft environment. Uh, we have Desert Ceradon, 6-4 with Cycling, Plasmic Mummy. Enters Battlefield, each player discards a card. Supernatural Stamina. That's not a bad card. Quarry Hauler, for each kind of counter on target permanent, put another kind of that one. 3-2 with Flash. That's not a bad card either. Um... True Heart Duelist can block an additional creature. Each combat has Embalm. Doesn't seem too bad. 2-2 two, two for 2. Can double block and it has Embalm. Manglehorn. So, yeah, it's okay. Gustwalker. Oh, Gustwalker is really good. We'll take Gustwalker. Even Mind Sensor. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't seem great here. Ronus is mine now. I'm not in green right now, though. Yeah. <clears throat> and Oketra's name. Zombies you control get plus two, plus one. Naga Oracle. Enter his battlefield. Look at the top three cards of your library. Pretty no any number of them in your graveyard. The rest back on the top. Oh, this isn't a bad card. This one's okay because it can't be blocked. It's a one, two for one that can't be blocked. Yeah, and then this one's a 3-drop, three 3-2. Three if you exert it when it attacks, it gets plus 2, plus 2. I'll take the unblockable. Take the unblockable. Blue light. Yeah, maybe. Um, those are terrible. Another Winged Shepherd. Forsake the Worldly. Binding Mummy. Whenever another zombie enters Buffet and enjoy, you may tap her. You may tap target artifact or creature, thresher, lizard. Plus 1, plus 2 as long as you have one or fewer cards in hand. Uh, 
uh, ornery Kudru. Put a 1-1, one, one, minus 1, minus 1 counter on target creature you control. Another hooded brawler. This thing. Grab the mummy. Really? The binding mummy? Why? Do you have do you have any you, you don't have any embalm either? I thought you did. You had an you need to go with like you could go with like an embalm strategy. Uh no, none of this has embalm. Yet. Yeah. Should I take Forsake the Worldly? Exile target artifact during enchantment with cycling two. Uh, yeah. Should I take another winged shepherd? I feel like playing two of these is <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, probably a terrible idea. I mean, it does have cycling for one, so, like, the nice thing is it's never a dead card. No. We'll take it. Oh, it's under reflect. Exile target creature that blocked or was blocked by a zombie this turn. To jury's resolve, untap target creature, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt with this turn. Sacred Cat. Yeah, what else we got? Supernatural Stamina is still really good. Horror of the Broken Lands. Third creature gains haste on a turn. Minotaur sure shot. That's not terrible. Should I take okay. the cat? Let's see. Cradle of the Accursed. Eh, yeah, it's meh. Uh, Hun Kofesh. Sparring Mummy enters battlefield. Untap target creature. Uh, flying. Gains haste until on a turn if you pay one colorless. Tormenting boys. Minotaur sure shot again. Flame blade adept. Might might actually go with that flame blade adept because you got those big winged shepherds you can cycle. Yeah, it could be good. So far the strategy is all these cards have been terrible. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally the strategy. I'm not even in a specific color except for maybe white, I guess. Nest of Scarabs, when you put a minus one minus one on a creature, create that many one one black insect creature tokens. Desert Ceradon is garbage except for the cycling. Um, Trespasser's Curse, not playing Cancel. It'd probably have to be Pouncing Cheetah. Really? What's the Trespasser's Curse? One and a black enchant player whenever a creature enters the battlefield under enchanted player's control, the player loses a life and I gain a life. I guess. I mean, could always take this. It's a 6 drop 6-4 six, with cycling 1. You're, really? Why? I'm, I, would, I would never play that ever. Ever. Under any circumstance, I'd never play this. Might as well take something that, even if it forces me into another color, I might actually play. It's the cheetah. Yeah. Another slither, slither blade. Dissenters, Deliverance, Destroy Target Artifact. Um, return, return target non-land permanent so in his hand, each player puts the top two cards of the library in the it, it's this. Another flame blade add up, blazing volley, one damage to each creature your opponent's control, floodwaters, uh, I guess it's the adept. Uh, another pouncing cheetah, manglehorn, or harvest season? Pouncing cheetah. I don't know, some garbage. I guess obviously we're probably going to take that. Naga Oracle enters Belfield, look at the top three of your library, put any number of them into the graveyard, the rest on top of your library in any order, or compelling argument. So fucking mill card. <laughs> um, oh yeah, take that. Take that. He's a fallen. Okay, we have anointed procession. Mm, that's a good card. <coughs> Pouncing cheetah again. Uh, those who serve two four for three. Another slither blade. Tap two creatures. I don't. Doom dissenter is good. I grab that procession. Uh, that uh, anointed procession. Honestly. I'm not. I'm, I'm not creating any tokens though. <laughs> So the sacred cat would double. That's literally it. Could take the trial of zeal. Oh, well, trial of ambition is one in the black when it enters the battlefield target opponent's sex creature. Trial of zeal is when it enters the battlefield deals three damage to any target. 
Or we could take on crop champion. 4-4 four, for four, 4. Can exert it as it attacks. We do untap all of the creatures you control. That's pretty good. Are we in green white enough for this though? Oh, we should probably take this. Pacifism. We have no, literally no removal yet. So we'll, we'll take that. Um, let's... Yeah, white's obviously on the docket. Every psycho discard a card. He gains indestructible until the turn. It's kind of garbage. Can't attack unless there are five or more cards in your graveyard. Minus one, minus one for each card in your hand. Enters the battlefield, returns our creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Three damage target attacking a blocking creature. We're taking that. Apatra, Vizier of Poisons. We're not in black at all. She's a really good card, though. Where you put one or more minus one minus ones on a creature, create a one one green snake creature token with death touch. Yeah, you need to, you need to go with the minus minus strategy for that. Yeah, hyena pack, emberhorn minotaur. Exerted as it attacks, it gets one one against menace. It's pretty good. Anointer priest can be good. Three two for three with vigilance and embalm five. Uh I think we take the anointer priest. Just because a 1 3 for 2 is pretty good. And she gets an easy life. Yeah. Uh, even initiates a 3 2 for for 4 with flying and bomb 6. I don't know if I'd. 7 and bomb 7. I don't know if I'd ever do that. Um, that's a recurrable card draw, but I'm not really in red at all. I think. Watchers of the Dead. Exile at each opponent chooses two cards in their graveyard and exiles the rest. Yeah, I think we take this because it has flying. Uh, approach of the second sun. That'd be a funny win condition. Sparring mummies up again. Wayward servant. I don't know. Zombie answers about fighting control. Each opponent loses one life and gain one life. Giant spiders at 2 4 with reach. Patra's Mark, Jeru's, uh. honestly all of this is garbage. Floodwaters, return up to two target creatures that I understand, and tap up to two target creatures. Uh, literally all of this is garbage. I don't know, I guess we'll just take Sparring Mummy. Uh, Painted Bluffs is meh. Compelling Argument. It's a mill. Impeccable timing's good. Blighted bat. Uh, I guess we just take the impeccable timing again. Uh, Naga Oracle. Wharf. What is this? Protection of a Hecma. Eh, that's okay. Miasmic Mummy. What? We, we still haven't figured out what our second color is here. <laughs> you got some blue, you got some red, you got some green. Yeah, this is a problem. Uh, that could be an okay card. Enters battlefield, deals X damage to target creature, and opponent controls or X's number of instants and sorceries in your graveyard. You're not a right. Not yet. Spy that could be okay. I'll go Oracle's crap. Um, brute strength. Plus three, plus one, and trample until on the turn. Yeah. If we play red, I mean, we have two red cards here. Uh, let's take this guy, why not? Embalmer's tools. Activated abilities of creature cards in your graveyard cost one less to activate. Tap, non tap, zombie, doesn't matter. Another Aven initiate. I think we take that. The rest of this is mm, crap. Yeah, we're definitely not likely even winning one single match here. I'm trying to put white blue because that seems to be the closest thing we're in. Counter target oh, that's garbage. I would take this just for the cycling. Or this for the cycling. Hmm? Don't you're saying take the cancel? That seems like a bad idea. Uh, Spy Caravan, I guess. 
We'll home cofish, I guess. I'll never play it. Uh, we'll take this just because it's blue, and we'll take that. Okay, Glory Bound Initiate's amazing. Trial Solidarity is what it is. Gust Walker's good. Uh, I think we're taking Glory Bound Initiate. On Crop Champions up again. Gate to the Afterlife. Um, Colossipede. Winds of Rebuke. Mighty Leap. Wreck. Crop Spearmaster. 2 and white for 3 1. You can exert it as it attacks. When you do, it gets plus 1 plus 1 against French Strike until end of turn. Hmm. Is that what we take? The other white one, Mighty Leap. I guess, yeah. Grasping Dunes. Sacrifice, I put a one, minus 1 minus 1 on target creature. That's sorcery speed. <laughs> By zero many faces is really good. Any creature. <laughs> Any creature. That is really good. Copy their big stupid. Yeah, Kefnet's monument. Blue. Yeah, Cryptic Serpent's good if you have enough. Uh, what else you got in blue? Uh, another Aven initiate. Um, Aven Initiate, Sparring Mummy, Cryptic Serpent, which can be pretty dumb. Pull from Tomorrow, Shimmer Scale Drake, 3 4 with Flying for 5. This is a 3 2 with Flying for 4. That has Embalmed, this has Cycling. Do we take the Drake? Floodwaters? And then just the land down there. Great Old Accursed, Create a 2 2 Black Zombie. The Drake, I guess. Yeah. Seraph of the Suns. There's oh a God. there's a bomb. Take that seraph. Oh, but there's a cast out. <laughs> I know. Finally, we find some removal, and it's you know, oh, compulsory rest is up. Anoint your priest. Compulsory rest. Gust Walker is all good. Um, well, how are you on your how's yeah? How's removal looking? One. We got one. Two impeccable timings, making three. We're not playing middle. Um, I wouldn't count cancel. I wouldn't count that. Three, so I guess we're taking compulsory rest. Uh, let's see. Binding Mummy, Sacred Cat, Naga Oracle, Cartouche of Solidarity, Cat. Yeah, we'll try the cat. Mighty Leap, Decision Paralysis, Naga Oracle. This is all absolute crap. And we'll try the Mighty Leap. Uh, Sparring Mummy, Anointer Priest, Winds of Rebuke. Probably Anointer Priest, yeah. Mighty Leap, Kate to the Afterlife, Winds of Rebuke. Another Mighty Leap. Supply Caravan, Decision Paralysis. Should we take? Should we actually take this? Three and a blue for an instant. Tap up to two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controllers. Next on tap step. Yeah, it's, it's alright. Barring Mummy, I guess. I mean, we could play Kefnet's Monument. Seems, like, not great, though. Six Barring Mummy. And, uh, we could just go for another creature, which I think we will. And uh, we got another one. <laughs> okay. So, this is the deck so far. We're not playing red. We're not playing green. Okay. Uh, we're not going to play the Kofesh. We'll keep the Cats, we'll keep the Slither Blade, we'll keep the Anointed Priest. Compulsory Rest will stay, this will stay, this will stay, this will stay. We'll get rid of both Mighty Leaps for now. Um, we're not playing Mill. Forsake the Worldly can likely go. I don't want to play Cancels. Grab the Mindful. One tap, sack. Return target, instant sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, you could. Decision Wait, really removal, instant, or sorcery? Is it just enchantment? Well, the uh, impeccable timing is instance, but otherwise, it's enchantments. Okay, it's yeah. Let's see. Isn't I thought they changed it so you could like see a different way that it's like set up. You could set it up like a different way, like filter it differently. I don't see that option here though. Okay, how many cards do you 
much do we have right now? 45 out of 40. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 lands, okay. Do we need both Wing and Shepherd? I mean, it's good for the cycling, but it costs I 6. Out, I would take out those Scribes and Blind Pools, because you don't have enough instants to really support it. Right. Um, Should we play bo both Wing and Shepherds? I feel like no. It does have that cycling, though. This Fly Caravan's, like, terrible. on five. What else is on five? Shimmer, Shimmer, Scale, Drake. That's it. Okay, so we've got one drops. So we've got Slither Blade and Sacred Cat. We have five one drops. It seems like a lot. What do we want? The cat or the Slither Blade, though? We got one cat. I don't know, because the cat is going to trigger off the Anointer Priest. So I got one Slither Blade. So we have four one drops. Two drops, we have two Compulsory Arrest, two Anointer Priest, Glory Bound Initiate, Gust Walker, Impeccable Time. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. But we can't get rid of our removal. Yeah. Gust Walker is so good. We're not getting rid of a Glory Bound Initiate. He's stupid. I don't know what to do there. Wreck Crop Spearmaster. Two and one white for a 3 1. Uh, you can exert him when he attacks, make him a 4 1 with first strike. Take out one of the sparring mummies. Yeah, one of the sparring mummies can definitely go. Yeah, so our three drops, we got Wreck Crop, Spearmaster, that's it. Sparring Mummy is a four drop, Aven Initiate, two of them is a four drop. Decision Paralysis, two of them is a four drop. Wizard of Many Faces is a four drop. Do we need two Decision Paralysis? Probably not, it's like kind of terrible. Alright, well that puts us at 40 cards. One, two, three, four... Five. Yeah, let's take a look at this. So we've got a 18 creatures, five non-creatures, 17 lands, four, four one drops, eight two drops, one three drop, uh, four five drops. I'm oh, sorry, five five four drops, right? Yeah, three six drops, three six drops. What? Oh, because of the winged shepherd and the seraph. Do I want both I Winged Shepherds? I one of the Winged Shepherds and drop in another It is shepherd. good, though, because of the cycling for one white. So, no matter, even if it's in my hand, it's going to cycle into something. <sighs> Hard choice, man. 18 creatures, too many? No, too many. So, we've got 16 white cards and 7 blue cards. <laughs> Ten planes, five islands, two sun scorched desert. Uh, the, the problem is, like, this cycles for white, this embalms for double blue, this embalms for blue. So it's not counting those, this embalms for white, it's not counting that in its calculation. I, would put I think one, we add. I would take a swamp, I mean, uh, uh, planes out and put one in. That's what I was thinking. Take one planes out and throw in one island. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so 9, 15, 16, 17. Okay, let's uh, go get freaking beat down. Oh, yeah, this is going to end horribly. <laughs> yep. I don't know, it might surprise you because I've built decks that I thought were awful and they actually performed really well. Uh, we'll see. Sorry for wasting the first 24 minutes of this video on uh, deck building, guys. That was like some horrible pools. I don't know if it was horrible pools or if, like, I'm not good at or if I'm just not good at draft or if. Amonkhet was just a garbage draft environment. Yeah. Uh, I mean, three packs and, like, all that. I mean, it was so hard to get forced into, like, any color. You know, to try and even force yourself into a color. It's so ridiculous. Uh, I mean, honestly, this hand isn't bad. Like, because yeah. <laughs> everything on my hand costs two except for the Seraph. Like, even the Embalm is freaking one. <laughs> There's the Anointer Priest. I guess we turn... Do we turn to Anointer or do we turn to Glorybound Initiate for the win? For the win? He's a 2-drop he's a 3-1. If you exert him, he get, he becomes a 4-4 four, four with lifelink. Oh, there you go. That that made the choice right there. Basically, gotta drop our boy in here. Or should we Anointer? Oh, man. I just play this. Yeah. You're not going to worry about him bombing that guy for a little bit. 
Yeah, if he swings in though, I can't block with the glory bound or the cat though. Why not? Because it's a one four. The glory bound's a three one, and the cat's a one one. The anointer is a one three. We'll play the glory bound because I want to get the swings in now. If I take one damage, like I don't think it's the end of the world, especially since life link, life link. Really need some land though. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I can keep playing things, but I'd like to play more things than one a turn. <clears throat> Contemplations are happening. Mm -hmm. He's taking out the heart. What's that thing? Ooh, the unblockable guy. Yeah, throwing a job throw. Throwing a job throw. Each opponent loses life equal to the number of top creatures you control. Alright, so we got us in for two there. Dang, man, you freaking straight up for real? Holy schmagolies. Holy big bagoli theory. Alright, well, let's swing in with the glory bound. Exert that boy. Uh, we can swing in with the cat, and. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll swing in with him. He's probably not gonna block that. Which is fine, because um, I'm gonna gain four life off this, so. It's just going to take me a while to kill him with that guy because exert, you know. Yeah. Well, let's drop in our anointer. It's going to start gaining life off that. Uh, if the sacred cat, like I could block with the sacred cat, have it die, recur it. Nice. Blighted bat's annoying. Yep. Well, this is a pretty easy choice here. Well, we're going to eat a lot of damage because of this stupid throne of the god throne. What, was, what would be the point? The only one I could block was the Dune Beetle. You want me to double block the Dune Beetle? Alright, we've lost. <laughs> I haven't drawn another land. I mean, more than half the deck is lands right now. So, and the fact I'm not drawing lands is like utterly ridiculous. Uh, okay. Yep. It's pretty... It's like... Dang, man. That will only deal 3 damage to target attacking or blocking a creature. I could use it on the Slither Blade, or I could use it on the Bat. Uh, I don't know. Let's go to combat and just swing in with the Cat for now. How about that? And I'll save the Impeccable Timing uh, for his turn. Save the Compulsory Rest for if you play something like really stupid. I can sacrifice it to get 2 life. I think I have the the option to do that, not him, right? Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of the sl Slither Blade, because I can't block it. I mean, I might get a flyer and I can block that bat, but I can never block this blade, so... Well, yeah, right? I mean, well, you know, the bomb's right there, but... <laughs> not drawing any land. Oh, Exile Target Creature, and there goes my somewhat trump card. Can't believe we're gonna lose because of Gate of the Afterlife or Throne of the God Pharaoh. Sorry, that's so stupid. Oh, there's a land. About time. Okay, so we might as well get in with the Cat because he's got the Life Link. There's no point to not get in with the Cat. So we'll throw the damage in there. Um, what I'm thinking is let him swing in with the uh, Dune Beetle, and I'll block with the Anointer, and then hit it with Impeccable Timing. Did he? What? <laughs> he gave it haste. Why? I don't know. Okay, this isn't how I wanted to do it, but... <sighs> Should, do I eat it? I think I need to. He's trying to stop me from swinging in with the cat and gaining continued life. Yeah, I can't play that and like impeccable timing though. He has three mana open, so I wonder if he has a counter, yeah. Alright, well let's go to combat. It's only got two cards in hand. I've got a full hand, but I'm not drawing any land, so Okay, let's get with, get in with our cat. If he blocks and hopefully he doesn't counter spell this, I can impeccable timing that. And uh possibly kill it. Okay, so it'll die then. 
they'll trade. I can embalm that next turn, trigger the Anointer Priest for a life. Bone Picker. Cost three less cast if a creature died this turn. Flying a Death Touch. That's the one I'm going to hit with Compulsive Crest. Uh -huh. Really need to draw another white mana, though, so I can start doing more than one thing a turn here. Yeah, it's funny how... <sighs> God, man. And see, like, even to cycle that, I have to pay white. Yeah. Like, Jesus. I just can't freaking win, man. All right, let's hit the Bone Picker with Compulsory Rest. I'm, like, I'm so close to winning this game because he's got no hand. I've got a full hand of, like, w like win-now cards. But I can't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Even one more mana would allow me to play Decision Paralysis and keep him tapped down for a little bit. If it's one white mana, I can play both cats, trigger some life, get some life gain going on. Oh my gosh, yeah, and he dropped in Cartouche of Knowledge, dang it. Yeah, draw a card and he gets 1-1. One, one. Another Compulsory Arrest would work. <laughs> I think there's two. Or is there only one? I don't know. The, the only reason we're dying so quick is because of Throne. Yeah, of course. It's a non-colored land. Mm. Advertiser friendly. Uh, keep it advertiser friendly. Alright, let's... Well, let's recur our Sacred Cat. Because it's basically the only thing we can do right now. Well, it, at the very least, we'll get a life off that. Wish I could play the other one, but I can't. Uh, I'll play it in a second. That'll give me the option to play the decision paralysis at least. Maybe I should have saved for the decision paralysis to tap his uh, dude. I don't know. Ping him for one. It'll allow me to get in with my sacred cat next turn. Though. Tap up to two target creatures. This creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. I guess it'll work out better this way in case he plays another like stupid thing. Another land. Okay. Yeah, I'll gain one here. Man, come on. <sighs> Alright, let's go to combat. Might as well double swing. He's not going to have a haster in blue-black. Okay, let our damage go through. So, we're going to end our turn. Put a stop on his first main so we can play this. Before he goes to combat. Yeah, he just went straight to combat. Tap, tap. I'm going to take two damage off this, though. Yeah, I don't know. Was that a May tap two, or did I have to tap two? Oh, it was a May tap two. Well, oh, damn it. What do you do? All, dude, all he has is flyers. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Oh, my God. Oh, like that, He's playing like exclusive flyers. It's so ridiculous. Alright, well, unless I draw another compulsory rest, it's like GG, so. <sighs> well, let's. I don't know, I might as well cycle it, why not? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I have a quest for playing these, but I'll play them just to see if I can get some progress towards something. And I'll swing him for a little damage too, because I think one of my quests was to deal 50 damage, so at the very least I can pump in one more. Yeah, the crappy thing is two-thirds of this deck right now, currently, is mana, and I'm not drawing any of it. So, alright, rework mana time. That's funny, because, well, that's not necessarily, I mean, that's a limited environment. Like, either you're mana flooded or mana screwed, and that's not even something. All right, well, we're editing this. Well, I like the Sun Scorched Desert, but we're going to take both of them out, and we're going to add in two planes. Yeah, double planes. So that puts us at, yep, that'll still put us at 17. Should we go to 18? I mean, look at all these high drops. I think we go 18 here. I think we go on other planes. I can't get screwed on planes. Go back, go back. What? Yeah, I have 41. So what do we want to drop? Oh, uh, yeah, we can take one out. And it didn't do it. There we go. Okay. Now you're at 40? Yeah, I'm at 40. I mean, it doesn't matter. I can play with 41. It's yeah, not going to throw the deck off like to such a massive extent that I'm going to lose the game. 
Uh, I don't know if I'd be surprised. I don't know. I need a, somebody, one of you statisticians out there, if you can do the uh, how much it would throw my game off with one extra card. Yeah, I'll probably start with eight mana in my hand. No, this this is a decent spread, actually. Okay. Another Glory Bond Initiate in hand one. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright, well, let's start it out. I can't believe I drew two blue again, though. Am I going to get freaking screwed on white again? Because uh, that'd be ridiculous. So, look, this is like literally mirror match as of last game. Festering Mummy, my eyes may put a minus one, minus one target creature. Okay, that creates an immediate problem for Glory Bound. So, that sucks. I'm not going to be able to play that until I get rid of this dude. Whatever it's servant. Never another zombie enters the battlefield in control. Each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Still. Continuing to get screwed on white. Let's throw this guy down. He'll be more than likely my sacrificial lamb to the festering mummy. This will be a pretty good turn four play. Blighted bat. Hey, so it won't be a pretty good turn four play then. Ha ha. Shimmer scale Drake. Cycle that away for two. Vice here. I really want to throw out that glory bound, but it's just not worth doing yet. Okay, no attacks. Wow, he actually pulled an irrigated farm line. Kudos, man. Kudos. Let's do it. We'll trade the block there. He probably has another flyer. 2 4. Okay. Shimmer Scale Drake costs 5. Guess we'll go ahead and play that. Just keep up the uh, do nothing game until I can start swinging in with my flyers. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, he's got me kind of in a pickle where I can't swing on him, so. And I can't play my Glory Bound Initiate, it's really annoying. If I get two more mana, I can play this Haven. Uh, Festering Mummy, when it dies, it puts a minus one, minus one target creature, while Glory Bound's three one. so. Dang, man, he's got a counter for everything I play. Flying Vigilance, creature target you control of Flying Vigilance. <sighs> okay. I could Vizier my Shimmer Scale Drake, I don't know if I want to do that, though. It's it's just a three four yeah by zero copy. Right, I don't have anything to embalm except the save and initiate though. I'm just saying. All right, well we'll 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 swing in with shimmer. Ah, uh, he might because he only needs one more land to embalm it. So he'll come back. Is, is Embalm, like, when it makes it a 4-4? I can't remember. <sighs> I really don't want to Vizier something stupid like a 3-4 Drake. I'd rather save it for when he plays, like, some stupid bomb. But yeah. I'm, I'm, like, off curve at this point. We'll just do it. It's really annoying to have to do that. If it dies, I can Embalm it for 5, though. I have the mana. Okay, so that'll stop him from attacking with the even wing guide. He pulled a freaking irrigated farmland. <laughs> I'm like, damn, man. I've been trying to pull one of those forever. Like, nope, not happening. I don't have a single one. Okay, so... Oh, I'm aware. I, I kind of want to bait that out to kill this dude so I can, like, start swinging in with my Glory Bound, though. Glory Bound has superiority to all of these cards, so... Slither Blade. I, I was hoping to draw the, the thing for even initiate thing. It's unfortunate. Okay, well, do I do I get him for double threes? Because then I'll get hit back for two. I would get him three, 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 three
Well, well, should I swing the boat? I mean, I guess it's going to kind of force him to block. So. He's missing his mana drop, so he's not going to be able to embalm that dude yet. Alright, let's drop him in. Yeah, but he'll target it first thing with Festering Mummy. He's just going to keep swinging him with this one. Uh, Sparring Mummy's got... What was it? 33? Um... This should be interesting. I'm going to block like so. See if he has a Mighty Leap or something. Oh, okay. Well, he can't kill anything with that minus one, minus one. He'll probably throw it on the Anointer. I mean, I guess he could throw it on... Yeah, he can throw it on a flyer, but it's still more than, you know, powerful enough to not die to this. They'll not be able to trade anymore or whatever, but... <sighs> of course he has another one. Damn, man, come on. Okay, there's the planes I, I was in search of. So... Well, he can't stop this 1-1 one -one either, so... But... Um... This thing can just sit here and block the Haven Wing Guide all day, it's whatever. Okay, so we get in there, we can embalm our Haven Initiate, or we can drop our Glory Bound Initiate, but he's got the Festering Mummy on the field again, which is super freaking annoying. We'll gain a life off the uh, Anointer Priest, which is good. This is such a, like, dirtle match, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, unless he gets something crazy, like, I've got him. It's just going to take forever. <laughs> Too bad Slitherblade doesn't have life. <laughs> That'd be really stupid. But now I'm going to start swinging in with the unblockable, the two flyers. He's going to have to choose to block it. And then if I get, if he blocks it, I'm going to get him with more stuff. So, yeah. Okay, now that's not being helpful anymore. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess we just get in like this. He might double block there. We'll see. He's probably he's probably gonna double block there. I would not be surprised. Yeah, it's, I mean, I guess it's a hard choice. He's putting himself, yeah, there's a double. He's putting himself on a clock, though, if he doesn't double block. Him. Okay. And then, oh, <laughs> now I can just embalm the visor of many faces. Oh, well. Laugh all the way to the bank. Do I do it now, though? I think we save that as our, our Donald Trump card. <laughs> save that as our Donald Trump card. He plays some big stupid thing that's going to swing the game, and I'm like, mm, visor. <laughs> He might not even know it has a bomb. So that could be a positive benefit. Yeah, I mean, I could always use it to win the game. Jesus, now I'm getting mana flooded. Come on. What are you doing to me, game? Jim, what are you doing, Jim? Jesus. All right, let's get in. He's going to have to start blocking here at some point. Now his flyer is dead. He does have the five. If he gets the six, he's gonna be able to start embalming his dudes, and that's gonna be. It's just it's gonna it's gonna make, take six more turns to kill him with Slither Blade. Like you know, it's so annoying. Okay, you died all that. Let's end the turn. Really hope he doesn't draw that one last mana he needs to start embalming this, because it's gonna get stupid. <laughs> He is pinging me, and th this is another reason why it's taking so long, because the Wayward Servant, whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under his control, I lose one, he gains one, so it's like, even more dirtle, it's, it's so annoying. Jesus, man, come on. It, like, in the clutch here, I need to draw, you know, my bomb, or, or literally anything would work. So we're quickly getting nowhere. The fact that he's not pushing me for damage right now is hilarious, like, I don't know why. Plague Belcher. Okay, this is the card that was going to swing the game. When it enters battlefield, put two one, one, minus one minus ones on target creature control. Whenever another zombie you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Okay, he killed off his Festering. He'll probably throw it on the Shimmer Scale. Now he's going to throw it on Slither Blade, so he can't die to it. Smart. 
Yeah, Plague Belcher is good. I, I think that I think even with the Vizier that I lose this game just because I haven't drawn anything. I'm gonna copy the Plague Belcher. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Two minus one minus ones on target creature in control. Well, well, yeah. I wish I could target him twice, like straight off, but there we go. Okay, okay, looking good. We can now play the glory bound though, because uh, he doesn't have that festering mummy at the moment. Anyways, so he's gonna end up getting two flyers, and I'm only gonna have one flyer, which creates uh, problems. <clears throat> Need to get another Slither Blade on the field or something. True Hard Duelist. Can block an additional creature each combat. Now I wonder how that works for um, Menace. I think he would still have to block with two creatures. Yeah. Okay. I block like so. I don't want to block with that. We're going to block like so. Da 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 da. Okay. Makes sense, because I'm just going to embalm the Anointer Priest if he kills it. you got to be freaking kidding me. Jesus. Alright, let's exert the Glory Bound. Start putting some pressure on. Get a little life back here, at least. Nope. <sighs> yep, of course. It goes on top of his freaking... Uh, Impeccable timing. It goes on top of his trigger to get yeah. uh, the plus one, plus three. Yeah, plus one, plus three. Is he really going to swing with that? I'm surprised he hasn't embalmed his other Aven Wing God. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> it gives the zombies plus two plus one. The the amount of zombie tribal he has going on here is utterly insane. Every card he's played is a zombie except for the true hard duelist. Okay, impeccable timing is good, but the game's over. <sighs> I don't want to concede just yet though because I can still get um stuff from my quests, so that's kind of important to me. Alright, so, let's, well, the Sparring Mummy kind of needs to go, I mean, yeah, we'll just get rid of the Sparring Mummy, it's whatever. Hopefully something I can cast to get, um, some quest progress. No, nope. okay. Uh, running up on like an hour long video here, but I mean, we might as well just lose our our one more match and call it uh, the end of our draft here. So let's go in. We'll try and drop one land again. See how it works. So we can add Forsake the Worldly. <laughs> Mighty Leap would be okay, I guess. Yeah, it's just, you know, trash there. Um, yeah, we'll try it. Why not? Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Again, I could play everything out of hand. <laughs> now I'm gonna get land screwed. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's the thing. Like the the draft pulls I got weren't uh they weren't good, but they're not god awful. I should have and could have won that last match if I didn't top deck lands for ten turns. You know, literally at the point that I was at, there was six lands left in the deck, and I top decked another land on my last turn. Like, it's utterly ridiculous, you know? This guy's... Black is, like, on point, man. Okay, so... There's literally no point to drop a blue here right now, so I might as well just drop a Noiter. <clears throat> Got a decent amount of control in hand here. Wasteland Scorpion, 2-2 two -two with Death Touch. Alright. Let's play Red Crap Spearmaster, I guess. We just won't be able to swing this turn, as usual. Curse of Minutes are already with a 3 2 Menace, jeez. Not gonna block there. Okay, Vizier is good. Well, I'm gonna swing him with the Wreck Crap and exert him, so he's a 4 1 with uh, first strike. <clears throat> yeah, first strike damage will go through there. So he's just eating it, which is fine. Um, we can choose to take 5 next turn and play the Avian Initiate, or we can choose to compulsory rest this Curse of Minotaur. Oh, I tap God, I, oh, I'm never going to get this right. Tapping my mana. So it doesn't tap it a stupid way, because I could have saved for impeccable timing. Yeah. I'm never gonna freaking get like <laughs> I'm never gonna get that down as like habit. Like, black, black green. green. Well, there's that black bat that yeah. you can pay one and give it haste. I could vizier this cursed minotaur and really put some pressure on here. Um, just gonna even initiate. I don't know what that did. Turk creature gets. I didn't, I didn't get to read that. And until end of turn, Turk creature gets plus two plus one gains. Whenever this creature dies, turn to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. I, now, see, I thought I was the one that could pay for compulsory rests um, no, ability. No, well that then that's just unfortunate. He had the perfect card to counter that compulsory rest. I mean, there's literally one card in the entire set that would counter that, and it's Supernatural Sam. That's kind of funny that he has it. Um, we'll just do the damage. Another Wasteland Scorpion. Boy, would you look at that. Now uh, we have Anointer Priest. We could play off his Cursed Minotaur. Not sure at the moment. Right now we're just going to exert this guy, and we're going to swing here. Uh, well, I can play the Anointer Priest and still save for impeccable timing. I just have to not be an idiot and tap my mana the right way. Okay. Well, if the Sacred Cat dies, embalming it would be a good option. Yes. Okay, let's kill the Minotaur because it's starting to get re really annoying. <laughs> Block with. Did he double? He doubled. Okay, we'll block with the cat to gain a life. Then we can recur it next turn. Grim Strider. 
we're gonna likely, very likely, compulsory rest that Grimstray because that's bad. Oops. There we go. Let's do it the right way, kids. Don't yeah. Play this. Three, four, five. He could eat up to five right now. Boy, in what order do you want to activate your Anointer Priest? Oh, I don't know. Is it relevant? <laughs> Um, hmm. I don't think I want a full swing here, just because I want some blockers. Like, I don't want to eat a bunch of damage. None of these guys have lifelink. I mean, I gained a little back with the cat, but not a lot. If the anointer dies, it can also be embalmed, so I can just bring it back, gain more life off, you know. Yep. Okay, well, we actually managed to win one. Look out. Our luck is changing. I don't know if our luck is changing just so much as our opponent had, worse. had a worse hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we started 50 gems in one pack. What is this? A one one bonus pack at 20% chance. Went up a 2% chance on the bonus pack. Doubled our gems. Not bad. Okay. Uh, how long is this quick draft almond cat going on? I assume it doesn't say. Uh, no, it doesn't say, but we're going to call it here because we're, we're pushing an hour video, so it's going to take forever to upload this. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you guys liked the video as slow and boring as it was with two complete Dural matches, um, hit that thumbs up button. You know, leave a comment down below. I appreciate that, too. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you want to see more content like this in the future, hit the subscribe button if that's what you like to do. We'll see you guys next time back on Everything MTG. Peace.